Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to figure out what the cosine of 76 degrees and 20 minutes is. So when we first start learning about angles in geometry and trigonometry, typically you're just going to learn how to measure angles using degrees. Later on, you'll learn about something called radians. And then uh, when you study degrees and or radians, uh, particularly degrees, uh, you can measure degrees or an angle using degrees. We can refine that angle down using minutes and seconds. So in this particular um, problem, we want to find the cosine of 76 degrees, 20 minutes. So if you've never seen this before, it's really, really important, especially if you are a trigonometry student or taking a course like pre-calculus that involves finding uh, the angles using um uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds. But if you know how to do this, go ahead and get your calculator and tell me what the cosine of 76 degrees, 20 minutes is. Go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how to do this. It's not that difficult, but it's certainly something you uh, need to be able to do um, if you, again, are taking like a course like trigonometry. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer here. Again, you want to use your calculator, but uh, if you did this correctly, let's go ahead and see the answer. You should get something around 0 0.2363. And I did round up here. There are some uh, other decimals. If you got like 0.2362, that's okay. But if you round it up, you would get 0.2363. So this is approximately what the answer is. But if you got this right, that is outstanding. Matter of fact, let me give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now... I have a special place in my heart about degrees, minutes, and seconds because in a former life, uh, I used to be a uh, naval officer. I was also in the Marine Corps, so yeah, I did spend a good amount of time uh, in the military, but I had the privilege of uh, driving big naval ships, okay, piloting them. Uh, I was basically a surface warfare officer which was definitely an interesting career because it did a lot with engineering and especially navigation, okay? So it's very cool uh, learning how to uh, celestial navigate and doing all different types of sort of th uh, different, different things with my math background, okay? So math, engineering, yeah, I love that kind of stuff. And um, having a chance to serve on uh, naval ships uh, was, you know, like a gigantic math war problem, if you will. But uh, when you are navigating a ship or looking at a chart, for those of you out there that might be familiar with, you know, piloting a boat, if you ever look at a chart, you use degrees, minutes, and seconds, okay? So what are we really talking about here? Well, I'm going to get into this right now. Let's kind of go down here for a second and just look at this notation. So we have a cosine of 76 degrees, 20 minutes. Now here we don't have seconds, but if I put in something like, let's say, 45 and I put two little um, uh, like a parentheses up there or I'm sorry apostrophes that would mean seconds but what does that mean well let's just kind of make something up here let's suppose this right here is oh uh, let's say 40 degrees okay so here's zero so this angle is 40 degrees now uh, in between uh, these, between zero and 40 degrees, if we split this up, we're not just talking about degrees. It's not just one degree, two degree, three degree, four degree. In between these degrees right here, we can refine these angles much, much more. Okay. So the way we do that is using degrees, minutes, and seconds. So within one degree, okay, one degree of measure, there is 20 minutes. Okay. We're really thinking about time here. All right. And then within one minute, there are 60 seconds. So if you just kind of remember your basic um, uh, conversions uh, factors in terms of times, 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, but we're, we're not using hours, we are using degrees. So that's basically what we need to know. And in your calculator, you can uh, use degree, 
minutes and seconds, there is a DMS button, I believe. I definitely know the function uh, exists, but really what you want to do is convert okay, your angle here uh, from degrees and minutes, and if you had seconds, you want to convert this angle all into a degree. Okay, So this part is already a degree, so what we want to do is convert this 20 minutes into a decimal, a part of a degree. Okay, so basically that is what we need to do. Once we have this as a full kind of decimal value, we can go ahead and punch that into our calculator and figure out the answer. So let's go ahead and see how we do this. It's not that difficult at all. So again, one degree equals 60 minutes. Okay, so think hours, minutes, and seconds. So here we want to know how many uh, degrees is 20 minutes. So you just set up a simple proportion just like this. So uh, one degree is to 60 minutes. Okay, so this is our equivalency, our conversion factor, if you will. And we want to know how many degrees is 20 minutes. So one degree to or uh, per 60 minutes. Okay, so this is our um, kind of our proportion that we're setting up for. So we don't we want to know how many degrees again or is in 60 minutes. So we can just set up this simple proportion. I know I'll be redundant here, but you know, this is the easiest way to do this. And then of course we can just use basic algebra and use the cross product. So that's going to be 20 times one, which is 20. And then 60 times X is 60 X. So we're going to solve for X here. Okay. So we're just going to divide both sides of the equation by 60. And what do we get? We get X is equal to 20 over 60, which is of course one third, which is of course 0.333 repeating. Okay. So that goes on forever and ever and ever. So 20 minutes is the same thing as 0.3 repeating or 0.333 forever um, degrees. Okay, so this is what we need to do now. So instead of uh, typing this into our, or putting this into our calculator, uh, 76 degrees and 20 minutes, we're going to replace this part, okay, with uh, the degree measurement of 0.33 repeating. So what you want to do, uh, you just don't want to use one three because this is 0.3 repeating. Use as many threes as possible. Just type in as many as you can. And when you do that, you'll get your answer, which of course is going to be, uh, I should have wrote it down over there, but it will be 0.2, uh, 0.236. It depends on, again, how many uh, threes you put in, like six, two, I think it was seven. What was that last digit? But uh, if you round it up to four digits, you would have 0.2363. Okay, so really, really important that you know how to work with degrees and minutes and seconds. And there's other type of problems that we can get into, but this is kind of a quick introduction to this stuff. Now, if you need additional help with uh, degrees, minutes, seconds, trigonometry, that kind of stuff, uh, I teach my full trigonometry course within my pre-calculus course. That's typically the way trigonometry is taught these days. So um, if you want to check that out, just go to my math help program and check out my pre-calculus course. You'll learn more trigonometry than you ever thought uh, is possible. But if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.